Welcome back to another grocery haul. I have a Walmart grocery haul for you. I have not done Walmart grocery haul in a while, so I thought that I would film it and share my meal plan process with you of, you know, what was being bought and what's going to be cooked. I know you guys enjoyed that as well. Also not shown here is milk and eggs because they're already in the refrigerator. I hate when the milk starts sweating. So that's in the fridge. I got some cream cheese and I'm going to make chicken, bacon, ranch, cheese sandwiches in the crock pot one day. I have some a lot of easy meals um, because quite honestly, and I know some of you do this too, I'm kind of burnt out on cooking like big heavy meals. So that's the, pro the thought process behind this haul. <laughs> um, so cream cheese. I got some baby Swiss and I'm going to be making ham and cheese sliders with the baby Swiss. Tomatoes, shredded lettuce, um, four tacos, a bag of apples, five pound bag of potatoes. I got some green seedless table grapes. I would have preferred the red, but I didn't have them. That's okay. To pick up a four pack of the Velveeta little small bowls. Um, Connor likes those. I got a fun Fetty icing, vanilla icing. It's supposed to be snowflakes, but look, it's fish in the top of there. Anyways, I have a white cake mix, and John has requested to make a cake. So I'm going to, or I picked that up for that. Um, a chicken stuffing for Thanksgiving. Uh, for something sweet, I picked up the Betty Crocker Delights, the peanut butter cookie brownie mix. We never tried that one, so we're curious. Um, I got some panini pasta because I'm making pizza casserole. The uh, Prego flavored with meat. We love this sauce. It's like the best spaghetti sauce, so once again, pizza casserole. I got some chili because one night we're having hot dogs and chili and some fries. Tomato ketchup because one night I'm making meatloaf. I'm going to list the meals I'm going to make down in the description box below as well. Got some of these Mission Street tacos. There's 24 um, floured or white corn tortillas in here. Those for tacos. And also a mild taco seasoning mix. And for a side with the pizza casserole, I did pick up these Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. These are so good. Um, the only thing is you do need additional ingredients to make these. So before you buy this box, definitely read it and make sure you have the rest of the ingredients at home before you leave the store. Well, I got some stuff for sandwiches. Like once again, like quick lunches and things like that. So we got a party size of the original Great Value Potato Chips. Um, some Dean's French onion dip to go with that. Some great value honey ham. I really love the turkey. So we wanted to try the ham one out too. The, the turkey is so good. $3.28 and you get a pound. And this is thin sliced. So the honey ham we're going to use for um, some of it for the ham and cheese sliders. And I highly recommend trying this oven roasted turkey breast. It's so good. And we love these Nathan Skinless Beef Franks. If you've never tried a Beef Frank or a Skinless one, also highly recommend these. They are so tasty. So much better than a regular hot dog. So good. Turkey pepperoni for pizza casserole. And two ground beefs here. Two pounds of that. So one is going to be for tacos and one is going to be for pizza casserole. And I didn't get any other additional meat because I'm trying to eat up all the meat in our freezer because we have a lot of meat stored back. So I just needed some hamburger meat. Well, I picked up a pack of these dinner yeast rolls for Thanksgiving. I already have my turkey breast and gravy and all kinds of everything. I think the last thing I really need to get is a pumpkin pie. And I just didn't want to get it. It's a little too early. Today is the 17th. I don't know when you'll be seeing this video. Whenever I get a chance to edit. But yeah. Rolls. Some great value wedges to go with a side dish as uh, a hot dogs or whatever. I meant to get a sloppy joe mix. Just because we haven't had sloppy joes in so long. I ran out of the store and forgot it. So that's another thing to pick up. 
and we picked up a thin crust pepperoni pizza and one other thing we picked up at walmart and connor we got like a small box of these one day and he absolutely loved these so for him like quick lunches and things like that we did pick him up some bagel bites pizza snacks i did pick up the big box because they didn't have the small box it was only eight dollars and i know this will last a long time so this is the last of it I told you it was going to be a quick it's a small haul it wasn't much um but about a week and a half worth of meals um, so we got a loaf of bread, which I'm going to freeze because we already have like a half a loaf, but I just didn't want to go. It's the holiday season. We really need to be staying away from town as much as possible. Um, hot dog buns, obviously for the hot dogs and chili. Um, these buns, this is a 12 pack of hamburger buns. Now, I always like to mention this. We're a family of three, so I will break this 12 pack up into three meals. So we will three have... Meals. Well, some of these will be used for the chicken bacon ranch sandwiches and I'll freeze the rest and pull out what we need for hamburgers or barbecue sandwiches sloppy joes even um, so that's that and then last but not least I have some of these um, Sam's Choice Sweet Hawaiian 12 rolls and I'm using this for the ham and cheese sliders so ham and cheese sliders hot dogs and chili sandwiches chicken bacon ranch sandwiches pizza casserole tacos meatloaf stuff for meatloaf and because i have a big pack of hamburger so yeah that's my grocery haul from walmart i hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for more grocery hauls dollar tree hauls all that fun stuff don't forget to like the video comment subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already and don't forget to check the description box for additional links thank you so very much for watching